The Juniper platform was celebrated at Labidco Industrial Estate on Sunday. Construction of the platform began in 2014 and is expected to contribute some 500 million scabs of gas to the oil and gas industry. The Minister of Finance looked optimistically to the potential impact of the platform. But the, the point is, we can ill afford a decline in upstream activity as this impacts on the entire value chain and the services sector. I want to say today, on behalf of the government, we are committed to working with the upstream to create a viable and sustainable domestic energy sector for all participants. We will be continuing our engagement with the sector over the coming weeks to create an environment for upstream investments that works in everyone's interests. The minister said there would soon be more adjustments made by the government to bolster the industry. We will be moving very swiftly in the first quarter of 2017 to seek to finalize discussions with all the players towards a new oil and gas fiscal regime so you can do the exploration and bring fields into production. We'll also be moving swiftly to finalize the gas supply contracts. One of those projects coming into the focus is the Angeline project. We do need to get Angeline on the road. So in the next three months, I want to give you the assurance that um, the team at the Ministry of Finance, together with the experts we have, the experts who are helping us with the gas master plan, the team headed by former Minister of Finance Wendell Motley, and various international experts. We've engaged international experts to help us as well because we need to get this show on the road. Meanwhile, BPTT President Norman Christie is eager for the changes suggested by the Acting Minister of Energy. He said these adjustments are much needed. I was delighted to hear the um, affirmation from the Minister, but he said something else that's important, and that is we can have a project, but we also have to stay competitive. So the reason I can't give you any ironclad commitments around where work will be done is because, of course, there are competitive negotiations which have to be concluded. And if they're competitive, then we will obviously build where things are competitive. So that still has to be answered. But it's a, a, a really a big step forward. And while Mr. Christie shares the optimism of the Minister of Finance over the Juniper project, he said it is difficult to gauge its impact. That's a very complicated question about net production because we have declines in the existing field. As the minister said, Juniper will bring over 500 million scuffs a day of gas to the market. What we have to do is to figure out what's happening with decline in order to give you the net impact. So once we get there with Juniper, I'll be able to give you a better answer because we'll know what the decline has been that Juniper is counteracting. The sixth platform built by BPTT in our shores is seen by many as the shot in the arm needed for struggling energy sector. And the BPTT president believes the Juniper platform will indeed shake up the sector. When you look at this, it's the largest facility we will have offshore when it ends up offshore for us. And over 550 million scuffs a day of gas will be brought to the country for use by petrochemical plants at Point Lisas and by Atlantic. So this is a truly momentous occasion. Well, the impact of Labidco's work on the Juniper platform was also highlighted by Labre MP Nicole Oliver. She said the president had been, or the project had been the latest example of growth in Labre and an example of the dexterity of its people. So with the successful sail away of Juniper, I am confident that Labre's ship is finally coming in. I believe that Tufco will agree with me wholeheartedly, as will my constituents, when I say that we do look forward to increased activity at the Tufco facility. There is no doubt of the company's capability and its ability to produce a world-class facility. She, however, said with the project now completed, new job opportunities would need to be found for members of the community. Some 700 people were employed due to work on the Juniper platform, with over 50% of the workforce coming from library and environs. Uh, we are indeed filled with pride to see the structure which has had such an awesome impact on the landscape over the past couple of months to see it now depart for its permanent home. It's not just the lumen presence that will be missed, of course, but the loss of opportunities within the community.